Today, Araxor has been released into old school RuneScape as a new Slayer boss requiring 92 Slayer to kill. But this is actually not my first encounter with this boss. All the way back 8 years ago, I farmed this boss like crazy over on RuneScape 3. And back then, I was even 2 years late to the party, as it was originally released in 2014, 10 years ago. Fighting this boss will absolutely be different here on Old School RuneScape, as it is a Slayer boss, which are designed to be a bit easier, as you might do like 200 of them on one Slayer task. But let's go ahead and jump into it and find out for ourselves. At the moment, I have a grand total of 23 Slayer points. So let's kick off this video by speedrunning through a lot of Wilderness Slayers to stack up as many points as we can to easily skip tasks when the Slayer boss comes out. So in two minutes, Araxor is being released and we have 2,300 Slayer points, which is definitely a lot better than 23, but I will complete this bear task even when the servers go live again for 290 tasks for a bit of a point boost. We're in the game again and the task is done for now 2.4k overall Slayer points. And this is all the stuff we have in the collection log, which is actually a lot of stuff. And because it's a Slayer boss, which usually doesn't have any crazy rare stuff, we should be able to see maybe something in this video. Before we actually fish for a task, we're going to be extending a rack site. So whenever we do get a task, it is going to be a bigger one. And it's 150 points, so that is now done. And let's go ahead and try to get our first task. There we go, 209 Araxites, finally, that actually took a while, oh god, I spent like 800 Slayer points just skipping that. We already have someone doing a 2 minutes and 31 personal best on Araxor, so definitely a lot faster than RuneScape 3 if that is one of the first kills done, and teleport method, I am using the Draken's Medallion to teleport to Theater of Blood and then just run north all the way to this cave right here where Araxor resides. When it comes to my gear of choice, we're going with an Inquisitor's Mace as we actually already have the stats for our Raxor and it is weak to crush. I think a Scythe of Vitter would be the best, but I don't have 1.5 billion GP to throw away on that, so Inquisitor's Mace it is. But let's go ahead and try this out. So the boss has 1020 HP and nothing really seems to be hitting like crazy. There is a couple of asset mechanics that only hits like 5 damage at a time. Okay, so here we have the first kind of scary mechanic, which I think this one should reflect the damage onto me and it's dead okay that was not too bad at all i think i think it's supposed to reflect the damage onto you when you hit araxor while it's alive so it is a priority to kill it but i have not killed any of these eggs at all so i'm basically doing it the hardest method possible right now and here's another one of the spiders this one explodes when you get close to it and lastly the acidic axorite is just an explosion of poison at the end and now i'm just messing up because i'm commentating but uh, honestly that doesn't seem too bad at all and gradually you will get this poison under you you just have to walk a couple of tiles and that's about it and one more hit and that should be it i didn't even realize it by the way but uh, i forgot to use thralls and that in the end was the enrage phase and i wasn't even aware of that either 237 not too bad and i think you have to harvest this for loot look at that that looks so cool such a cool animation for two dragon mazes but let's go ahead and get some more food try this again and not use the entire inventory of food messing up on my second kill around, I found out some neat stuff about the minions. I'm still not entirely sure how to deal with the mirror back spider because when you attack it, it still reflects damage onto you. So how do you really avoid that? And one of the coolest things is that I realized this exploding spider, you can actually lure it under the boss, let it explode and it deals 80 damage to Araxor. So when you can, definitely do that. And we have the second kill coming in a lot quicker this time. 157, let's go ahead and harvest it. Oh, we already have an elite clue scroll. Uh, maybe I was too, I was probably very lucky, honestly, with that, but nice. So I went ahead and asked a couple of clanmates how to avoid the mirrorback spider, and apparently we need to range it. Now, I don't know how good range gear I need to one-tap the mirrorback spider, but I guess we'll see. Okay, so that is still not enough. I definitely need a bit better ranged gear because killing this every time is going to be a pain. But at least now we know how to avoid the reflected damage. I was actually looking back at the trailer of Araxor and I realized that they're using a heavy ballista to kill the mirrorback spider. And melee crush weapons like the Inquisitor's Maze actually always one-shots the spiders. So I thought maybe the heavy ballista is the same for the mirrorback spider. Okay, here we go. Here is the mirrorback spider. Let's go ahead and give this a shot. Heavy ballista, 240 experience yeah it does that is so nice okay a good use for the heavy ballista 
absolutely massive improvements here. I used barely no food on this kill at all. And another thing I actually just found out, you can actually destroy the corpse of the boss, giving you no loot, but doubling your chance of the pet. For all you pet hunters, this is probably a godsend. But let's go ahead and see what the fourth loot is. 80 nature runes? Okay, I guess I'll take it. There is actually a method you can get to Araxor even quicker, and that is by buying these spider cave teleports, but they are extremely expensive. Look at that, 114k each or something like that. But these should be going down in price very quickly, so when you're seeing this, they are most likely a lot cheaper. Let's give it a shot, let's see how close we actually land to the Araxor cave. Oh, it's right outside. Okay, that is perfect. That saves a lot of time. Let's look on the map. I don't have to run this entire path. Actually, if the ballista works on all of these minions, I might as well just always kill these with the ballista. Yeah, it does. Okay, perfect. So both on the Venomous and the Mirrorback, I'll just use the ballista. And the red one, I just want to explode on Araxor. Okay, we have the first unique item, that is a collection log slot. I am not too hype about this because I kind of know what this is. When you eat this, I think you take some venom damage, and on top of that you gain 20 seconds of venom immunity. I don't think they're very useful, so I'm just going to sell them right away, see what they sell for. Insta sold for, okay, like 10k each, not too good I guess, but at least it's something. If you're going to be doing this supposedly the easy mode, you're supposed to be killing all of these eggs around the arena one by one, but you don't actually one-shot them, so they were not kidding when they were saying it's a lot slower. So I will definitely not be doing that. Oh, and there they are, the spider cave teleports. We got three of them at a time, so that is not too many. But at current prices, that's like 330k, so we're making money. You know, being just slightly off 7 minutes into this video, I think it's about time we talk about the Slayer experience of this Slayer boss. Each minion you kill gives you 58 Slayer experience and does not count for the task. And Araxor itself gives you 1709. So if I kill around 3 minions per kill, that is 1883 experience per kill, meaning this task of 209 Araxites is 393,000 Slayer experience. No way! No way! On 22 KC! That's the best item! I think, unironically, that is the best item. That's the new amulet! Holy, it says 50 million GP in the chat. I have to check this out. As it turns out, you actually can sell this item on the GE, so let's just go ahead and make the amulet myself. Let's go ahead and click like this. I don't know if you can actually sell the amulet, but here we go, the animation. I've heard this is awesome. Oh my god, it's such a long animation as well. There it is. The amulet is about to be made, and there it is, an amulet of Rancor, let's equip it and see how it looks on me. That looks so cool, let's see if we can actually sell this amulet or if it's also untradeable. You can sell it, actively traded price 158 million. You know what, I'm just gonna put it up for like 200 million, or maybe even more than that, I'll just put it up for some crazy amount and see if it sells. Alright, so I looked up the GE tracker and there we go. It sells for 155 million GP. We are making absolute bank of this boss. I've done a couple of more kills and for this video I think my goal is going to be 100 Araxor killed so we have another 67 to go. But as has become kind of a tradition by now, Jagex put these scoreboards outside of the boss room so you can see how many deaths I have. I have zero deaths so far. And what the personal best times are. I have 131 and the world's best is 46 seconds. I don't even know how they can do that. Two dragon plate legs. That's the first time I've got that. I think that is the best regular drop you can get. Since the insanely lucky fang drop we haven't seen any uniques and this is now kill number 50 of the grind and i have been kind of timing how many kills an hour i'm getting and it seems to be between 25 and 30 which means if you max out at an extended 250 araxi task one of these tasks could be 10 hours long oh my god 68 kc what was that like 30 kills between another fang and i think these are actually one of the more rare items it's so crazy we've got two amulets of rancors the best melee amulet in the game in 68 araxors when the drop rates come out it's going to be interesting to see how lucky i was it's now selling for 115 million gp instantly sold 116.8 million gp you know what not bad 
You know what? I'm convinced. YouTuber luck is definitely a thing. Noxious Blade on just 6 KC after the Fang. This is one of the three untradeable items, so no instant profits. You need to make the Noxious Halberd. And uh, that is the end of the Araxor grind. 100 KC done. Let's go ahead and harvest the last one and see if we get lucky on the last. We do not, we get cold, but that is a uh, very interesting grind done, and I really enjoyed it with how lucky we were, it was very eventful as well. This is my collection log, which is of course extremely lucky, the YouTuber luck striking gold here. Now when it comes to the regular drop here on our Axor, this is everything we got, 3.5 million JP, which means like 35k per kill. But of course, most of the money comes from the uniques here, and there's quite a lot of them. But even if today's video ends here, we are not done with Araxor for the channel just yet. And one thing I didn't mention at all is actually the Arenea boots dropped from the normal Araxites outside of Araxor's arena. So in the future, this is perfect for on-drop rates.